Inductive reactants XL and capacitive reactants XC in series. Inductive reactants XL of value 60 ohm and capacitive reactants XC of value 40 ohm are connected in series. 120 volts AC voltage is applied. The current I is same in both the inductive reactants and capacitive reactants. The inductive reactants and capacitive reactants has opposite phase angles. So inductive reactants and capacitive reactants in series than edge reactants is the difference between XL and XC. Which results in less reactants than either one. The figure C shows the equivalent circuit with NEDGE reactants 20 ohm and AC voltage source of 120 volts. Since the NEDGE reactants is inductive, because the value of inductive reactants is more as compared to capacitive reactants. Due to net inductive reactants the current lags the applied voltage by 90 degree. The voltage drop across XL in figure A is VL is equal to current I into XL which is equal to 6 ampere into 60 ohm which is 360 volts. The voltage drop across XC in figure A is VC is equal to current I into XC which is equal to 6 ampere into 40 ohm which is 240 volts. The individual voltage drop is more than applied voltage. But the sum of series voltage drop is 120 volts. The voltage VL and VC are opposite. The voltage across inductive reactants leads series current by 90 degree. The voltage across capacitive reactants lags the series current by 90 degree. The voltage across inductive reactants VL and voltage across capacitive reactants XC are 180 degree out of phase. And they are of opposite polarity. Now suppose the values of inductive reactants XL is replaced with inductive capacitance XC and value of XC replaced with value of XL. So XC will be 60 ohm and XL will be 40 ohm in this case the edge reactants would be 20 ohm XC. The current will be 6 ampere. This time current will lead the voltage by 90 degree.